Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the initial app setup for the Eureka J15 Pro Ultra. If you're interested in this product, be sure to shop the link in the video description. So first things first, search your app store, whether it's iOS or Android for the Eureka app, get it downloaded, sign in or create your account. Once you do, you can view all of your Eureka devices if you have any set up. We have a couple added to our account already, but we have not added our J15 Pro Ultra yet. So top right hand corner, hit the plus icon, select add a device, and we can choose to scan a QR code or select the device model. If we pull our vacuum out right here and open up the lid, we actually have a QR code right there that we're gonna select scan, give permissions, we're gonna scan it right there. Now we're on to step one. Press and hold the on off key for three seconds and the sound of beep indicates that the system has been activated and our lights already on. We have our system activated so we can select that and then hit next. Now we need to open up the cover, which we have, select next. Now we have to hold down the Wi-Fi button for three seconds and we'll hear a beep. There's the beep, check, next. Now we have a voice prompt. It's looking for an internet connection. Follow instructions on your phone. Make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So select your network, enter your password, then select next. Now it's working on connecting to the vacuum cleaner. We have a little checklist here of a couple things that it's gonna accomplish. Voice prompt activated, letting us know to please wait. First one's already done. Network connection successfully. So there we go, super quick. Now we can rename it if we want. I'm gonna leave it the default name. Select confirm. And now it's loading. There we go. I don't even think that took two minutes. It might've taken less than a minute. 60 seconds all in, very, very quick and straightforward. That's it for the app setup, guys. Now it's in your account. You can get access to it. We can enter into the vacuum. Looks like we have a little plugin that's gonna download. Then we'll be able to enter in and then we can start mapping and using our RoboVac and Mop. As we enter in, we have a firmware update here. So I highly recommend updating your firmware right away to make sure you're getting the best performance possible. There's a reason that it has the update. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. So go ahead, select update. Agree. You'll notice too, auto upgrade toggled on. We definitely want to do that. Update now. Okay, so we got to put it back on the station. Charging. Got it. Update now. And now we wait. So far, count me impressed with the firmware update. It didn't even take a minute to download the update. Now we're in the install section, so we're step two or three. Really quick so far, we'll see if that continues. All right, it succeeded. That took less than four minutes. There we go. Now we can go back in. And with it all set up and updated, now we can go create a new map so it can map our home and environment and then we can start cleaning.